Hello everyone, welcome to the first segment of Mod Mondays. With this one, I'm going to go over the mods that I use for just building, not decorating. Decorating essentials will be next week. There are a few mods that I use for building and several that I use for decorating, so I figured that it would be better to have two separate videos. Alright, so for reference, I want to look at the vanilla wood tab. Here are all the floors that Bethesda gave us. Pretty basic, you know, they're all listed in one little section, same thing with the walls. They're all listed here in one tab. These are all the ones that Bethesda deemed us worthy of using. Same thing with the roofs and the stairs and the miscellaneous tab, which is a bridge and a few railings. P pretty much it. Go crazy. So with that in mind, I want to start off with what I consider to be the holy grail of building mods. Workshop rearranged. Now I could make an hour long video on just this mod and still probably wouldn't cover everything that it does. So for this video, I'm just going to go over the basic functionality and changes that it makes to the structures tab. Basically, it gives you a ton of new objects and rearranges your workshop menu so you can sort through vanilla items and the new mod items much easier. So look at the walls tab. See we have all these different categories and within each one we have the vanilla pieces and then all of these new mod items. I mean look at this, just walls on walls on walls and they all snap and go together seamlessly. I think most if not all of these were already in the game and this mod just allows us to build with them, which is exactly what I wanted. And just when you thought I was done, no, we got corner walls, outer caps, and even filler boards which do exactly that. If you ever have a gap while building multiple floors, just snap one of these bad boys in there and it fixes the problem. This goes for so many other tabs like roofs, stairs, railings and bridges, it just adds in so much stuff that I can't possibly go over everything. But I do want to show you the supports tab. This gives you various types of posts and cross beams and wall supports. You'll see me use these a lot in my builds. And keep in mind, I'm just showing you the wood tab. The other structures have new objects as well and they're all made out of whatever material you're looking at. So for example, the supports here are made out of wood, but if I go to the metal tab, I can use some made out of metal. Oh, this is a minor change. Under the door tab, they give us new doors and then moved all the other ones within our workshop into one tab. Small change, but very convenient. And of course, this mod has new tabs, but I can't go over all of them, so here's a very quick look. Oh, this is a good one. There is a structures miscellaneous tab that gives you different types of foundations and gives you those same options in half sizes and quarter sizes. And with these foundations, any type of floor will snap to them. They just have to be the same size. Once you get the floors down, you can go back to the miscellaneous tab and find the floor covers. You have all kinds, carpet, tiles, metal, wood, rubber. They all come in various sizes and are a blast to decorate with. Okay, last but certainly not least for this mod, I want to go over functionality. So this is the vanilla snapping system. Notice how the wall will snap to the size of the floor, but it won't snap in the middle. The only vanilla floors I've found that allow you to do this are from the barn tab. See how the wall snapping inside the floor? Now with Workshop Rearranged, it completely revamps the snapping system. I chose the same kind of walls and see how they snap into the middle of the wood floors no problem. And this goes far beyond just these two types of objects. It makes the whole snapping system much more forgiving. And lastly, the placement of objects. Without this mod, I wouldn't be able to sink this wall into the ground. I would have to use the pillar glitch to sink it down. This mod eliminates the need for that and really just gives you way more freedom when it comes to building. I've barely scratched the surface of this mod in terms of all the objects it gives you. Next week I will go over the decorations and furniture part of Workshop Rearranged, so definitely tune in for that. Next is the Snap and Build mod. This one gives you a lot of new objects under what they call the Real Estate tab, which are really nice, but I don't really like building with them because they are way too clean. I talked about this before in another video. It looks really cool and they give you a bunch of new things like columns, stairs, balconies, but it doesn't really fit into the lore of the game in my opinion. Maybe the roofs and the insides, but like this perfectly clean 
white brick throws me off. Now that's just one part of it. It does give you a few other new structures like these capsules, which you guys have seen me use a lot and will continue to do. They fit in perfectly with the game, and I love them. That's right, I said it, I don't care who knows, I love these capsules. I will shout it from the roof of my condominium, I love these capsules. Oh, and it gives you these bunkers, which are pretty cool, I, I guess. I haven't really built with them yet. I'm saving them for like a military type build, but they're pretty cool. Not as cool as the capsules. Oh, and the uh, industrial rooms here. These remind me a lot of the vault pieces, and uh, I'm saving them for something cool. I just, I don't know what yet, but I do like them, but not, not as much as the capsules. All right, so the best part of the snap and build mod other than the capsules, are these walls and doorways. I love these walls so much, they just, they look basic, they have windows, they work really well, and then you also have these little doorways that you guys see me use these all the time, I did it in my last build, and they just fit perfectly into the game, and they just make you build rooms much easier. And also, you haven't seen me use these very much, but they give you the same type of walls in the metal tab, right here. Same thing, it's just, you have that metal kind of look with windows, and it just goes a long way and can be used in each of your builds. Alright, this next one is called Unlimited Building. This one completely maxes out your building limit. Notice the meter at the top right hand corner. No matter how much I place down, it will not fill up. I can place down as many of these as I want. No matter where I go, placing these down, my meter is still not filling up. Keep going back this way, even come back, zigzag a little bit, hit that mailbox, still not filling up my meter. I can come back where I started, still not filling up. I can pass by a Piper, still not filling up my meter. I could even turn around and start walking backwards. And guess what? The meter still does not fill up. I could zigzag past this guy. I could go in a straight line and then start zigzagging and the meter still doesn't fill up. I could even go forward and my meter still I feel like I made my point a long time ago. This next one is called Cheat Room. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, not really because I'm, I'm not one of those, but why would I want to cheat the game? I don't use the gameplay cheats or like spawn weapons or any of this stuff really. I mean they have a few different things where you can get like miscellaneous junk, but I don't go through any of this. The main reason why I have this is to change the time and the weather. It's about 6 o'clock in the game now, so let's go from 6 to midnight. <laughs> now clear up the weather and boom! Full control over the time and weather of the Commonwealth. And I don't know where that spaceship came from. It just appeared one day and has hovered there ever since. I don't know whose it is and I can't scrap it in the workshop menu so I don't, I don't know what to do. But this mod is great if you do build videos because you can clear up the weather and have it nice and sunny whenever you want so your viewers can see better. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Another great thing with this mod, you can go into items and objects and then go down to all shipments and what this does is automatically give you a hundred of every single shipment within the game. Basically unlimited crafting materials. This is a big part because there's nothing worse than running out of materials when you're just trying to build something. And it also loads a place on your map that has all these different rooms filled with an unlimited supply of just about everything in the game, which I only use to get junk to decorate with. Alright, last building mod is called Place Anywhere, and it does just that. It allows you to place any object anywhere you want, even if it's in the red. So say we want to patch up this window. The way this mod works is you have to place an object down first and then pick it back up and when you do, you would see a place anywhere option at the bottom. So I just place it where I want it to go, then press X to get the place anywhere menu to pop up and then B to activate it and there it is. I only use this mod if I can place the object down without it and it just saves me time. Now the best example of this is placing doors back on the sanctuary houses. The vanilla process is get the doorway so you can place a door, remove the doorway, put a rug down, select all, and then you can place the door with the rug. 
So with these mods, I can use Workshop Rearrange to place down the door wherever I want. I don't need the doorway. And now I can pick it up and place it in the door frame with the Place Anywhere mod and save myself a bunch of time. So with these videos, I'm going to end them with a mod of the week, which is one that I think is really awesome or I've had a lot of fun with, not necessarily pertaining to building. And since this is my first video in the series, I'm going to give you guys two mods of the week. The first mod of the week is called Lightsaber. It allows you to create any kind of lightsaber that you want. You can choose hilts from all of the different characters, even ones that aren't canon, and you can change the beam color, the sounds, and they work great. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, I feel like these actually fit into the game because we have laser guns and all this technology, so it's not too far of a stretch. Now mod of the week 2 is an Iron Man armor set, which speaks for itself. I mean, look at it, guys. It comes with his jetpacks, all of the weapons that he has built in, and even the sounds sound just like the movie. But I gotta say, my favorite part was putting on the Joker makeup. And then I decided, why not take it a step further and have him wield a lightsaber? Now guys, this is four universes merged together. Fallout, Marvel, Star Wars, and DC. And if I don't get a copyright strike for this, I don't know what will. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do what any normal person would do if they had this kind of setup on their character, which is test it out. But that's it for me. I appreciate you guys watching and I really hope you like this new content. I'd love to do mod videos for Skyrim as well, but maybe after my decoration essential video, which will be next week. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and take care.